Hello, my name is Mark, and welcome to I Am Organic Gardening. I'm located in the state of New Jersey in Zone 7, and today we're going to talk about those beautiful trees behind us and those fall leaves that we get for free. They're changing colors in yellows, oranges, purples, reds. They're just adorable, and they add such great benefits to our garden. So get out there and start thinking about collecting them if you can, if you're in an area that you have them available to you. They are such a wonderful wonderful thing to add. They add nutrients, they are great mulch all summer long, and also they add worm food to your garden. Here is a delivery of my first truckload of leaves that I got the other day. I make a small income on leaves delivered to my farm. I get about 10,000 cubic yards a year, and this is a 12 cubic yard um, pile of leaves that I got. I also get them in larger quantities, uh, 20 in a truckload at a time. And again, I can get that up to like maybe 10,000 cubic yards a year. I recycle the leaves for the township and they're very happy to uh, give them to me on my property. So the first question we're gonna go over is, do I have to worry about disease in the leaves if they come from a tree that has a disease and died from it? No, you do not have to worry about that whatsoever. The diseases that affect the trees do not affect your garden plants. It's a totally different process. A tree is different than any type of garden plants that you have. It won't affect your soil or the plant or any type Type of fungi or bacteria in the soil nothing else either it will not transfer over to your plants in the garden in the future or even in the fall if you still have a crop going the next question is do I have to chop my leaves up no you do not it makes it easier to lay them down as a mulch if they're smaller. It's just like anything that's smaller pieces, it's easier to spread around and keep on your garden soil. You do not have to chop them up. Some of the other questions that are asked all the time, if I have grass clippings in there or pine needles, will that affect my garden soil or be a problem in my garden? Again, no it will not. The grass clippings are just a pure form of nitrogen. They might heat up the pile a little bit if you just leave it like I'm showing here, but that will go away over time once it heats up and goes past the decomposing phase of grass clippings, it will work out to be your benefit. It will not hurt your garden or be a problem in the future. Pine needles have been proven over time that it does not transfer the pH or the acidity of pine needles to your soil. It's just a myth and don't worry about that also. The next question is mostly asked all the time, do I have to add anything to this leaf pile to make it decompose quicker? No. All the bacteria and fungi that is on these leaves already. Yes, there is bacteria and fungi growing already. In your area, you always have bacteria and fungi being transferred around by animals, air currents, you name it. Whatever nature, rain, you name it. It will attach itself to those leaves if it's not on there already and start decomposing them to you for free and that's nature's way of removing or not allowing to have a huge amount of mulch on top of our soil over this beautiful planet. And you can see this pile is about four feet tall. If you absolutely do nothing, if you just have a big pile in your backyard or on your farm, you can just take that pile and leave it there. You don't have to turn it or nothing else either. So this is what I just received two days ago. And I will show you now. These are leaf piles that I received last year, the same type of truckload of 12 cubic yards. And you can see how they have decomposed themselves over time. I will now take this and it's next to my garden and apply it to my my garden. It's not a problem. You don't have to place them in plastic bags. You don't have to do anything else to that. Nature will help you decompose if you just leave it alone. There is a beautiful pile of worms in there. They've been going at it all this time. There's beautiful bacteria and fungi coming apart and decomposing those leaves and it's ready to add nutrients to your garden. Leaves are the most important things. Leaves are great to decompose on top of your garden. That's what they're meant for. They do add nutrients to your soil, but just enjoy the mulch to keep your weeds down. 
Thank you so very much for watching today's video. I hope I answered some of your top questions. And if you have any more questions, just write them down in the comments. I will get back to you. It's very important to share with other people if you know something that I don't know. So enjoy it. Give it a good thumbs up. And again, happy gardening and enjoy your day and enjoy those beautiful fall leaves. Thanks.